Bedtime Stories for Giants. If you like these stories and want to follow along on the Giants' adventures, please hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like this video. I hope you enjoy the story. Tell me a giant story. Hop up in your bed. Lay down. Let's get comfortable. Make sure you have your blanket and your pillow. And any stuffed animal that you need. Lay as still as you can. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more time. In through your nose again. Out through your mouth. Tonight's tale is another Cats at Night adventure. Lay as still as you can in your bed while you listen to the story. Once again, our four giant children, Luna, Bo, Apple Peach Banana, and Ernie, noticed something peculiar going on with their three cats, Nip, Stripe, and Liam Lemur. Throughout the last week, when the giants woke up in the morning and let their cats inside, there was a mess outside. What were their cats getting into out there? From time to time, the giant children liked to attach a camera to one of their cat's collars to find out what they were up to, especially when their cats were acting peculiar. Luna decided, we better find out why there's such a mess in the mornings. Let's put a camera on Nip's collar. Bo, Apple Peach Banana, and Ernie all agreed. At nighttime, just before the four giants went to bed, they attached Nip's collar with the camera on it around his neck. They said goodnight to their cats and let them outside. The four giant children marched to bed. Luna said, the quicker we go to sleep, the quicker we get to wake up and find out what's going on with our cats. The four giant children laid down in their beds and made predictions what they would see on the camera the next day. Luna said, I think there's a mess out there because the cats lost something and they've been tearing our yard apart looking for what they have lost. Bo predicted, I think it's messy because they're just not picking up after themselves. Apple Peach Banana said, I think it's messy because they're having a party and they're just not putting things away when they're done with it. He said, I think they're redecorating our yard because that's the way they like it to look. Then the four giants swiftly fell to sleep. The next morning, Bo woke up first, ran to the door, and let his three cats back inside Nip, Liam Lemur, and Stripe. Marching in, laid down on the couch and promptly fell to sleep. He grabbed the camera from Nip's collar, gave Nip a little pat on the head, and waited patiently for the rest of his siblings to wake up. When Luna, Apple Peach Banana, and Ernie woke up, they found Bo sitting waiting. Bo had already geared up the camera and had his finger on the play button. For as soon as everyone settled in around him, he pressed the play button. The four giants watched as the cats went outside for the night. The three cats split up right away. Liam Lemur went one direction. Stripe marched off in the opposite direction. And Nip marched straight. When Nip got to a tree, he hid behind it, and then he peeked out of the giant's house. On the camera, you could see Liam Lemur hiding behind a garbage can, and in the other direction, Stripe was hiding behind a slide. Oh, 
asked, Are they playing hide and seek? And I said, Maybe, but they're all hiding, so who's searching for them? The giants curiously watched Nip's camera. What were those cats doing? Cats must be patient because they hid in their spots for a long time. Then, like a flash, something went running across the screen. That something was the something the cats had been hiding from. It was hard to tell what it was. It was definitely furry, and it was about the size of a cat. Maybe it was another cat. But this thing jumped right into the garbage can me and Lemur was hiding behind started throwing garbage out, making a big mess of napkins and apple cores and moldy bread. Liam Lemur was seen pushing with all his might, pushing that garbage can until it tipped over. And the thing inside the garbage can came running out. Now the giants could see it clearly, its beating eyes trying to figure out what just happened. It was a raccoon. There was a raccoon outside the giant's house at night. What were the cats going to do about this? Giants kept watching. Liam Lemur found a different hiding spot behind some bushes. This time the raccoon ran over to Mom Giant's flower garden. The raccoon began to pull apart all the flowers and made a big mess of flower petals. Mom Giant was going to be so upset. This is when Nip jumped into action. He took a stick and started banging it on the tree. The raccoon, caught off guard, promptly stopped what he was doing to the flowers. He looked around suspiciously. Something was going on. He couldn't figure out what it was, though. He decided it wasn't safe over by the flowers. He headed back to the chicken coop. Nip, with his collar on, was right on that raccoon's tail, following him to the chicken coop. When the raccoon had found the chicken coop, he weaseled his way through a little crack in the door. Nip's camera caught what he did. The raccoon picked an egg up and swallowed it whole. Rightfully so, the chickens in the chicken coop were getting quite riled up with the raccoon's presence. The raccoon found another egg, picked it up, tossed it in the air. As it was coming back down, the raccoon opened his mouth caught the egg in his mouth, and swallowed it. There's a raccoon eating our eggs? Apple Peach Banana asked. She was very concerned as she loved her chickens. Unfortunately, Luna said, that's exactly what's happening. This is when Stripe jumped into action and started ringing the wind chimes like crazy. raccoon jumped from fright and scurried his way out the door. Nip's camera caught the raccoon scurrying around the bushes and up the mountain, far away from the giant's home. The three cats gave themselves a paw high five, and feeling tired, they rested on the giant's front porch until morning. The four giants had finished watching the video and now knew the truth of who was making the mess outside. Let's go clean up that mess, said Luna. The cats did a lot of work last night trying to protect everything we had out there, Bo said. Okay, let's get to work. The four giants headed outside and began picking the garbage up off the ground and putting it back in the trash bin. They cleaned up their mom's flowers and went to the chicken coop gave their chickens some extra loving. Apple Peach Banana even sang a song to calm all the chickens down. I love you, you're the best chicken. I love you. They found
down the lid to their trash bin and secured it to the top. Then they built a fence around the flower garden. And lastly, they patched in the little crack in the door to the chicken coop. Luna, Bo, Apple Peach Banana, and Ernie decided they wanted to help prevent raccoon damage in the future. But just in case the raccoon did come back, they set a trap with a box, a stick, and some raccoon bait, also known as garbage. That way, if the raccoon did return, it would go for the garbage under the box instead of the trash bin, knock over the stick, and get trapped in the box. So in the morning, their father giant could bring the raccoon far, far away from their home, and their cats could finally get some rest. E and good night, giants.